It's all washed, and what I did was I wanted to look for really big leaves because we're going to stuff this. I'm going to make a filling for this, and Chef Lee, what I'm going to have you do is blanch this just so we can wilt these leaves down so that we can roll them around the stuffing. And we're going to use the stems. We're going to save that. So we've got a rubber band on here. This is a good way to do it so you don't have to fish it out of the water. So we put salt in the water. And now Chef Lee is just going to hold that down there. And 30 seconds later, that's going to be ready to come out. So the filling for this, and I think that this is a really just nice, simple filling, will be with ricotta cheese. And I know that you're always looking for good purveyors of ricotta cheese, right? Always. Especially when you're in Italy. So. We're going to put this in a bowl. I drained it off so I didn't have all that extra water. And I'm going to just season it with some uh, parsley. So here's some flat leaf par parsley, Italian flat leaf. I'm going to give it a little bit of pepper. You got the salt over oh, there? We do. A little salt. And some grana padana. Do you like grana padano? I love the grana. How do you use it in the restaurant? Oh, we, you know, we use it for finishing pizzas and uh, pasta dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, not so much a serving cheese, but uh, more of a garnishing cheese. Okay, so I've got the cheese in there, and I want one egg just to bind this all together. So this is essentially going to be part of our filling, but we're going to do something with the stems. So we just mix this all around, and because I'm having a tomato sauce with this, it's kind of like in the southern Italian tradition. Mm -hmm. How do you use Swiss chard when you're cooking in the restaurant? Well, you know, we use the stems in soups and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and things like that because it's really uh, full of nutrients and it's a great additive to a soup. But with the greens, you know, we'll saute them a lot with, uh, you know, with some nice spring onions and uh, just a little bit of olive oil, maybe just a touch of vinegar, mm -hmm. you know. But I, uh, I like the, uh, the rolled in Voltini style, too. I okay. think it's interesting. Well, how's that looking? It's looking ready to go. All right. OK. OK. Excellent. So now let's put that there. We're going to have to dry that off with a, a few paper towels. Now, the thing about this is you don't want to handle this, of course, until it's, it's cool enough, even though I have asbestos fingers. Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to take these stems. And I'm going to have you cut those. Let me get you another cutting board. I'm going to move over a little bit. Get a smaller cutting board. And why don't you cut those stems off? Perfect. And while you're doing that, I'm going to heat up some olive oil in this pan because we're going to use those stems because in Italian cooking, as we all know, nothing is wasted. Isn't that right, Chef Lee? No, and these have great flavor, too. And they add some nice color to, uh, to the dish also. OK, so we're going to dice that up. and. Here's some onion to go with that. So onion and the stems go in the pan. When that's a little bit soft, then we can add it to our ricotta cheese mixture. So back to this, I'm going to take off and discard that rubber band. And then once you have them wilted down, and the only reason we did this is so that we, were, we would be able to roll them. So you see how beautiful they have retained their color. And now I have to do one other thing which is to take off a little bit more of this stem. So you don't, you don't throw this away. I'm taking a little bit more off so that I can roll this easy enough. So you just trim around the edges. I'll give you a few more, Chef yep. Lee, for you Beautiful. to put in. And you like to go to Italy, don't you? Oh, you we, like to spend a lot of time in Italy. We try to spend as, uh, at least two trips a year. And what do, you do, what do you do? Are you looking for particular uh, producers? Well, you know, we like to go visit the people that we do business with there. And uh, also, we, you know, we like to try to bring over some of the staff to give them a real insight as to, you know, how things are truly in Italy. OK, and, and, and even though you have a, a non-Italian last name, yes. you are really into Italian cooking in your restaurants, yeah, right? I really have a passion for Italian food. OK. You ready to add this? Yeah, put that in. But go right in. OK, good. Now we can mix that around with the cheese. Pretty, isn't it? Mm, and it looks this delicious. particular type of uh, Swiss chard that we have is called Bright Lights. Yes. Because of the different colored stems that we have here. So this is how this goes. I'll make one, and then I'll let you make one. All righty. You take some of this, and you just spread it on your leaves. Don't put too much in there because you don't want that all to squish out. And then you just start to roll, fold the sides in as if you were making 
a little jelly roll bundle. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Okay, chef, I'm going to let delicious. you make a couple. And here we've started with some. So I'm going to add this one to the pan. We put a little bit of tomato sauce Beautiful. down in the base of the pan. And this is just basically a little extra virgin olive oil, some onion. You can put carrot in for a little bit of sweetness if you want, some garlic, plum tomatoes, which are the tomatoes of choice for making a sauce, right? Salt, pepper, do you add sugar to your sauce? Depending on uh, how uh, sweet or, you know, how the tomatoes are. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're really uh, meaty and sweet, then we kind of hold then back a touch, okay. you know? Isn't this pretty? Oh, This is great. really pretty. So, plum tomatoes, and then if you want to add a little bit of wine, you can do that. Um, extra virgin. Why don't you grate a little bit more cheese? Right in that drawer, there's a, sure. like a, uh, a little microplane zester. I'm gonna put just a tad of oil and some more tomato sauce over the top. Oh. Mm. Does this look good? Now, how long do you think this will cook for? This is going to take about 30 minutes or so to bake. Looks like the Italian flag it almost, does. doesn't <laughs> it? So just spread the tomato sauce. Your oven's on at 350 degrees. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, why don't you put the cheese on? That looks good. A little grated cheese. I'll get some foil. And in the oven it goes about 35 minutes later, we're going to be ready to serve this. Gorgeous. Okay, so we've got that.